In today's Medical Apps Masterclass, we will study about biosynthesis of heme. Probably, the most important point to remember about biosynthesis of heme is that part of it occurs in mitochondria and part of the cycle takes place in cytoplasm. As the first step, the pathway initiates by the synthesis of aminolevulinic acid, ALA, which is produced by succinyl-CoA, plus, glycine. Succinyl-CoA and glycine condenses together, in the presence of, ALA synthase. Now a very important point here is that, ALA synthase is located in mitochondria. Finally, this is the rate-limiting enzyme of the pathway, and, this reaction is the rate-limiting step for heme synthesis. Moving ahead. Specifically from here, next few reactions will occur in the cytoplasm. So let's see the further step now. Now two molecules of ALA condense to form, one molecule of prophobilinogen or PBG, in the presence of ALA dehydrogenase. Now, the point to be noted here is that, ALA dehydrogenase enzyme, contains, zinc, and is inhibited by lead. Hence this step is specifically inhibited in lead poisoning. As a consequence, in lead poisoning, there will be an accumulation of ALA, and hence, elevated levels of ALA, can be used as a diagnostic marker for lead poisoning. Moving to the next step, here four molecules of prophobilinogen or PBG condenses to form, hydroxymethylbilane, or HMB and, this step is catalyzed by, uroporphyrinogen, 1, synthase. In the next reaction, HMB is converted to UPG3, in the presence of, UPG3, synthase. The next step is a decarboxylation step. In this step UPG3 is further converted into coproporpyrinogen 3 or CPG3, which is catalyzed by UPG decarboxylase. If we see this reaction, four molecules of carbon dioxide is eliminated by UPG decarboxylase enzyme. Now, the coproporpyrinogen 3 moves to the mitochondria wherein with the help of, oxidase, it is converted to protoporphyrinogen 9. Since, this oxidase enzyme, is only present in mitochondria, this step takes place in mitochondria. And finally, the last step is where heme synthesis takes place in mitochondria, which is catalyzed by, ferrochelatase, which is also called as, heme synthase. In this reaction, ferrous iron, is attached to, protoporphyrin, and, ultimately heme is formed. At last, two important exam points to be remembered are, number one, heme can be synthesized by almost all the tissues. The only exception is, RBC, as it lacks mitochondria. Second point is, heme synthesis primarily takes place in, liver and, bone marrow. So, as a recap for the pathway, let us look at the most important points on this slide. Point number one, even though the cycle initiates, and, finishes in mitochondria, however many steps takes place in, cytoplasm. Point number two, as the first step succinyl-CoA, combines with, glycine in presence of, ALA synthase, to form ALA or aminolevulinic acid. Very important point to remember here is that, this is the rate limiting step, of the entire heme synthesis. Number three, levels of ALA is increased in, lead poisoning because, lead inhibits the ALA dehydrogenase, as ALA dehydrogenase contains zinc. Point number four, the final step of heme synthesis involves addition of iron to protoporphyrinogen to form heme in presence of ferrochelatase enzyme, also called as heme synthesase. Let us end today's Medical Apps Masterclass by having a look at the brain teaser question for today. The decarboxylation of uroporphyrinogen takes place in cytoplasm. This statement is true or false. If you know the correct answer to this question, write in the comment below. Also, do not forget to subscribe to Medical Apps Masterclass by clicking here. Once you have subscribed, then click on the bell icon if you want to receive a notification whenever we upload a new Medical Apps Masterclass. Do not forget to check out this next Medical Apps Masterclass, which I feel will be very helpful for you.